Hi, this is Scott from Digital Fish with Content Net Catches. The boat was in for some maintenance, so the plan involved paddling a kayak this week around the Whangaparoa headland. Sour southwest winds narrowed down my options, but I had received a hot tip from Will at Go Fish Tackle and was heading around a headland to stake out a local reef. Whangaparoa has lots of fishy habitat, and it usually doesn't take long to get into some action somewhere, provided the fish are willing to open their mouths. I was geared up to fish from the yak and later try the rocks if things were quiet. I was using soft baits in the shallows first, but had no takers and the wind made it difficult to get a slow drift, so it was time to anchor and crack out the bait and burly. I was trying some slabs of blue muraji, a new bait on the market. Trying to double my odds at catching something, I had a live mackerel out as well, swimming on the bottom. I was also tackle testing the new Diwak Seller fishing reel on this trip, it was going well. The snapper were cunning and I missed a few takers, but I managed to hook this one before it could steal my Miraji bait. There was some activity over the change of tide with small snapper and a few kawai until the live bait gear went off. Something had eaten my mackerel. After five or so hours, my butt had fallen asleep, so it was time to make for land and try some rock fishing. The intel I received informed me the better fish were biting on dusk off the rocks, so I paddled over to set up and start using my legs. I wasn't expecting much activity until the sun went down, but fished the afternoon anyway. Piper cast and slowly retrieved was part of my plan, and sure enough, I felt something attach itself to my bait. It felt suspiciously like a squid, firm but slow pulls on the line. Sure enough, as it got closer, I could see a broad fin squid latched onto my bait. Seldom are you able to hook them with a hook and a bait like a fish. You can sometimes gaff or net squid that are holding onto your bait if you slowly draw them within range. You have to be patient but just think of those golden calamari rings. I managed to gaff this squid and avoid the jets of black ink it squirted in its defence. On sunset the snapper started to appear and I had fresh piper and squid tentacles on hand to try and catch something decent. The fish weren't big, but in amongst the small fish were some legal sized fish that would fit in the pan. My biggest panty came on dark and then my big rod took off. I thought I had a goody, but it turned out to be a ray. I carefully unhooked him and flipped him back into the sea. I ended up with six keepers and a feed for the family. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.